how's it going? It's me, Yoko. For those who don't know me, I am a Japanese living in Japan who is a huge Trump supporter. And today, let's talk about Women's March. So, President Trump was welcoming this march in his tweet and showed how he's been successfully doing his job, including the female unemployment hitting the lowest in 18 years, etc., as you probably all saw. But it seems like many women in the United States still had a lot to complain or to express uh, what's on their mind. So I took a look at the signs of the march to figure out what these women had to say. And as you can probably imagine, it only made me confused because it's supposed to be about women, right? What I saw was like Black Lives Matter, uh, Hillary Clinton's supporters and decriminalization of sex workers and lock him up meeting Trump, etc. And I'm like, what is their core message? Like, what are they there for together? I just didn't get it. Isn't it ironic though that these women are supposed to be insisting women's rights but the date of course is set right after the inauguration day and I think that it means that women's rights are only used as a topic to pressure Trump administration. So it's not about women, it's about making President Trump look bad while his administration is actually making the country and the world a better place. Whatever it is about, I'm pretty sure that it is benefiting the partners of the march. Every time there's a huge um, demonstration or protest like this, it makes me wonder like, do the participants know? Like, do they even care who the organizers are or who the partners are? Because in politics, it is like the most important thing. You have to make sure that you know who you are truly helping or supporting by your action like a protest. Aside from the march, I got to see this actor making a speech on stage in a video. I watched the one by Natalie Portman. It was interesting because the, just the other day, I got to see her first film when she was 12 years old. It's called Leon the Professional or something. Um, she even mentioned that in uh, the speech, I think, but I was interested in what she would say as a grown-up, you know, because I just saw like a child version of her the other day. It was airing here somehow. And so I um, took some time, watched the video, and I found myself getting lost and confused again because I just it was so hard to follow because I realized that women like her speak as if all men in this world were evil. You know, like I fear these women that generalize too much. You know, it's dangerous to generalize. Like not only they generalize, they talk like a dictator. They agitate so much, you know, they are in their own world and they agitate, speak to the people to be angry or something. I bet that some people get delusional because they are agitated by these people, be these people that can perform and act. And also she was talking about how women can't speak up and I'm like, you're speaking on stage right now. You are also welcomed by the present for this march. <laughs> yeah, by the present that she hates. So people like Natalie Portman, if they really feel that they are victims, then their victimhood mentality will follow them everywhere forever. They can only see the world through their glass, right? So meaning biased. They have to first face the past and overcome it like I did after I was once attacked by a stranger, like a man that I didn't know on the street when I was in college. It's something that you have to do. You can't keep dragging the past um, victimhood and see the world with that mindset, you know, you have to overcome that but I don't think that people like Natalie do that, you know. What I'm trying to say is if you are feeling like a victim and you still have a wound, then get healed first before you show how you see the world because you are not seeing things straight because you are shocked still. 
I know that you know once we become victims we feel like we have to help others with the same situations but you need help before you try to give a help you know and I find that their approaches are wrong just like people like them do with racism issue like I mentioned in my previous video as I said like if you want the world to change you are the one to change especially like female rights issue the world has already moved on and we're on like the next phase you know but they're still their logic what they're insisting is still stuck on the uh, like the previous levels but back to what I was talking about the actor types they often talk about sexual harassment or assaults those who that do stuff like that are criminals which do not equal to men like they are referring to specific cases and not how all men act it's funny how they are mad at President Trump generalizing Mexican people but they are generalizing men themselves most of the time these women work in an industry where their work environment tradition and culture are different from us us the majority us the ordinary people and they pretend to be like one of us you know what i mean like i know that they are trying to help you know but they are in a unique world and they think that they are speaking for us but we ordinary people we don't see the picture like they explain like men versus women you know because every day we feel that men and women are attracted to each other and that we need each other isn't that how we feel? So why would you want to create a picture that doesn't exist or make it bigger than it really is? And you know, I know that there are people that think that victimhood is cool thanks to good-looking influencers like them that show off the victimhood or its mentality, which is troublesome. Man, we need like influential people that can overcome victimhood mentality those who with inner peace so i'm speaking a lot of how i feel and there might be some women watching this and thinking like oh yoko you don't know anything like you know women get harassed at work blah 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 but let me tell you men are harassed at work as well or anywhere if not by women by men or society like they have pressures or troubles due to their gender too and you're not the only one fortunately or unfortunately like why do you think that women are the only victims and the women are lacking in rights while you have the rights already so in japan there are even train cars uh, for women to avoid gropers which is discriminative towards men don't you think like men get attacked too like men get attacked on a train or anywhere or to make the matter worse like especially on train there are men here that get uh, false charge and get jailed for no valid reason think of how much damage it does to the person even if they are free to go or think of what happens to their family like their children and everything it's so awful but it happens and the world ignores it where's the human rights of men? we don't think about it because we hear women 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 so wrong so here's what I have to point out women are not as socially weak as we think maybe back in the day um, in certain countries but especially today we are rather told to think that women are weak are we? so i think the truth is that it's just the men are quiet because they are men like they have the social standards and responsibilities and everything to fulfill which you are creating as well so i'd say don't get blinded by loud victims and we have to listen to the silent ones that can't really speak up those women are speaking up as you can see but there are silent ones that we are missing but again i have to point out that issues like this like you know these topics like gender racism etc these are often just a tool for something else like something political 
like these topics or our good hearts is all being used for some purpose and we have to be smart enough to see that another aspect is who knows like these entertainers want to sell out maybe like how do you know if they are being genuine like they're professional actors <laughs> you never know that if they are truly doing it for the social cause or if they are just traumatized and they're trying to bring justice to themselves and being selfish or just doing it for their career and status. Anyway, I laughed at one of the comments that I saw on Natalie's video which said, one minute they don't believe in gender, the next minute they are marching in behalf of women. So I'm confused and that's so on point. Another comment was pointing out that the actual problem is child abuse than women in Hollywood, which made an interesting point as well. Anyway, this video is getting long, so I should end this soon but just wanted to say that we live in the 21st century if you love everybody equally including men white people or Trump whoever if you love everyone equally and if you show that you make more efforts than anybody else with results then I think that people will be naturally drawn or attracted to you and be influenced by you to be like you and that's how you change the world in my opinion because it's just human nature it's just how it works all I'm saying is actions speak more than words these people that are influenced by liberalism uh, they are actually criticizing and hating a lot of people as long as you're showing your own preferences and conditional love instead of unconditional love you're not going to make it you are not going to bring peace the only way to the true peace is mutual respect nobody wants to be denied and mutual respect is something that these liberal people are missing or lacking and why does that happen because they are all me 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 right and i got to say love others like you love yourself or love yourself from the bottom of your heart like genuinely i don't think that these liberal people are facing themselves like they can't even look in the mirror and say that they love themselves that often occurs because that was my case i hated myself and that's why i hated the world now i'm totally the opposite peace comes from within you know maybe someone said that seriously like you need inner peace first so that you can bring peace to the world you have to be all aligned so that you can calmly see the world without bias anyway i'm gonna go so make sure to subscribe to this channel random yoko 2 and also follow me on twitter at random yoko and if you could please support me on patreon because youtube advertisement system it doesn't like politics it doesn't like my videos it even deleted one one of my most viewed videos which was a song that i made on an annexation oh well i'm not gonna make a fuss over it anyway take care until next time i will talk to you later bye